Welcome to the Gold Coast Art School. This is Stephen over here. And what I want to talk to you today is about solvents. Now I'm not going to go into the whole kit and caboodle because there's a lot to discuss in greater detail. Why I'm doing this is because uh, two things happen. Quite often what I see happening is some students have a little cup of this stuff and they take it into the studio and they use it to thin their paint down. No! Must not do that. This is called mineral turpentine. These are also called turpentine, but a different type of turpentine. And its job is purely to clean brushes. It's designed to strip the oil and the gunk out of your brushes and make them nice and fluffy for next week. You don't use this to thin your paint. Yes, it thins the paint, but what it does is it robs the pigment of any protection. Oil paint's made up of, guess what, oil. You're right. So what does this do? It chews oil, it destroys the oil, it eats it out. So what we use when we thin with turpentine is this baby. This is the stuff that you paint with. It's called pure turpentine or gum turpentine. Why is it called that? It's not a petrochemical product designed to destroy the planet. It is actually distilled from the sap of pine trees, okay? Now the turpentine pine initially was what they, that's why they called it that, but that really strong, sickly sweet smell, some people love it, some people hate it, sometimes they get a headache right there. Sorry about that, folks. What that does is it effectively thins the paint, but the residue leaves a protective film, UV cream for the pigment. So the pigment is less likely to fade, the sun can't get at it, the light doesn't get at it, and also it's not going to crack so much. Now I mentioned the smell. I happen to like the smell. Whew. When I was at RMIT, we were, we were on the top floor and I'd be walking up through the different floors and we'd get to three and a half and I'd start to smell that smell. And oh. But some people hate it. So there are lots of different companies have different alternatives. This is by Archival Oils and it's an odorless solvent. Does the same thing as that, but it doesn't pong and won't give you a headache. But it is protective. It's not for cleaning brushes. I saw a guy last week cleaning brushes with this stuff and I thought, good Lord, do you wash your car with Evian water? And he said, no, then don't use this to clean brushes. It's too good and too expensive to clean your brushes with. It's for painting with. I only wanted to tell you this is because seriously, I did see someone wash their brushes in this stuff and I freaked out, man. I just freaked out. Thank you for watching, listening or whatever you do. Maybe you are cleaning your teeth. I'll be back with more helpful hints later. Thank you, bye.